Um, I want to talk about some of the stuff that you've done outside of the ring, as Mm far as charity work or things in your community that you feel that you feel that like you've made a difference in someone's life. Is there anything that you can tell me or share with me and the listeners and viewers that are watching this podcast about something that you've done to help out in your community? Uh, I'm all about sobriety, you know, and uh, I, I go to rehabs fairly often uh, and speak and uh, share my story. And um, it has it, helped a lot of people. Uh, we did the documentary, The Resurrection of Jake the Snake Roberts. We did that. And I can't. I can't begin to think of how many people that have contacted me and thanked me for being so open and so freely um, talking about my pain and my struggle. Because uh, there are a lot of people out there hurting. There really are. When you think about it, man, it's like one of the top killers. Yeah. Yeah, drugs. Alcohol. Are- and drugs it's just it's no joke to see how many people we've lost to that overdoses um yep when you talk to these people what's something that you say to them that kind of motivates them to change their life for the better that they can have hope again you know when you're down and out and and you're caught up in that that weave of just going in and out of consciousness basically because of the drugs and the alcohol, um, you lose you lose hope, and you don't think you'll ever get it back. You know you'll never have another dream, but you can dream again. You can have hope again, but it starts with sobriety. Got to get sober, man. You got to get clean, and. Uh, that's what I preach, man, is uh, no matter how many times you fail, get up and try again. So sooner or later, it works. I'm, I'm living proof of that. I went to several rehabs, you know, and um, four to be exact, and it didn't work. But I moved in with Diamond Dallas Page. And I got sober and clean there, you know, and uh, doing DDPY yoga um, brought me a lot of peace, and it also gave me hope again. Because um, when I started doing it, I could barely get out of a chair. I was so out of shape, 320 pounds, well, 313 pounds, I think it was. But um, I couldn't get down on the floor. Unless I just got fairly close and just threw myself on the floor. That's the only way I can get down. But um, after weeks of uh, doing DDPY yoga, I got to where I could do a lot of things again. A lot. And I started noticing my body changing. And uh, after several months, I got on the scale and realized I'd lost 30 pounds. And um, Without dieting, you know, the first three letters of diet's not good. Die, <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. No, no. And you really have to put in the work, you know, just like with anything in life, you really have to put in the work to make sure you're on the right path. And DDP definitely is someone that I feel like has really helped transform so many people's lives for the better. Really. Yeah, hundreds and thousands, man. Thousands of people, man. Yeah, it's just when you're with him, what stuff is he telling you advice that you're still like taking with you now? I just listen, man. You know, he's he's still learning. He, he's you know, he, he never quits learning. He's open to learning. You know, a lot of us get stuck in a pattern and we just hold there. But he's constantly looking for a new way, a better way, a way that gives better results. And he's finding ways to, to get better results. 
when you're doing yoga, mm. is there like a specific pose that you enjoy doing or something that you just feel at peace? Yeah, a few, a few moves, but um, it's just the overall presentation that you go through, you know, and uh, it just brings you to a calmness. And then from the calmness, you go, you go right into a feeling of euphoria. And once you get that euphoria cranking, man, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. And, you know, the fact that you've, you know, you're still with us now and you're, you're going through this transformation and you're talking to these people and giving them the advice. I mean, that's just so important that you don't want to, you don't want to touch a, 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 a alcohol or drugs or I fall don't. into that trap because it's, it really can be horrible. Horrible uh, road to go down. I would never go back to him, my friend. I just, um, the thought of it turns my stomach. What is it about giving back and sharing your story with others that gives you joy and makes you feel good? Well, each time I give that story out there, it gives me strength to continue. You know, and um, listening to other people's story gives me strength. And you just don't want to, you don't want to fall back into that slimy pit of crap, man, of not having any hope, not having any joy, not having any love. You just don't want to fall back into that. 